What's good with the peoples? This is Kev the Galaxy Bender present to you guys the Goku and Kev show episode 23 preview. The show is going to air uh, Saturday, March 23rd, 2024 at 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time here on YouTube. Yes, I'm moving the show over to YouTube uh, from Twitch. And the main reason is uh, yeah, a couple of reasons. Uh, more people seem to tune in on my live streams uh, on YouTube. So uh, I want to expose more people to more games and that's what my whole channel is about. So I get more traffic here and I want to get more people talking about it. You know, especially the topic we're going to be covering on this month's show. Uh, so I have to just go where more people are. And, uh, you know, some of the other reasons are I just get better performance on my broadcast on um, YouTube. And, uh, what the, and what does that mean? So YouTube gives you more bandwidth. So my broadcast, they look nicer. Like you get a bunch of compression artifacts over on Twitch. Uh, it, it, it just looks worse. And on YouTube, you get, you get more... Uh, Get more bandwidth, higher bit rate, so you get better looking streams. So, and I want to be able to present that to people. Uh, and then finally, my video on demands. Like after I do a stream on Twitch, I get deleted after six days now, and that's because I'm not a Twitch partner or affiliate, uh, nor do I have Amazon Prime. Uh, and since I don't plan on ever monetizing any of my videos or anything like that, like I said, is is purely just to bring people together to. You know, let's cover you know new games. Uh, so again, I don't ever plan on monetizing my channel, so I, I will not ever be able to uh, store my video on demands. Like I believe, if you're a Twitch affiliate partner or have Amazon Prime, you get 30 days. So what this does is, since I have six days, this puts an extra rush on me. Uh, you know, download my videos, having to edit them, and things like that. And I got a lot of stuff going on right now in my, in my personal life, so. I, I don't have a bunch of time, but uh, having them on YouTube, all my videos will just naturally be there forever and it'll be preserved. And then I, it has a built in video editor that allows me to, you know, make small changes need be uh, versus having to download the entire video or something like that. So, um, again, I hope all of you, because uh, I plan on uploading this to Twitch somehow, I'll get it up there somehow. But I, uh, I hope all of you guys can uh, tune in on you, here on YouTube uh, to the show. And then those who follow me on Twitch, uh, I beg you, uh, please, you know, join me over at uh, YouTube. And, you know, my YouTube is uh, youtube.com forward slash at Kev the Galaxy Bender. But uh, I totally understand if you do not wish to follow me there for, you don't, you know, for whatever reason you got. Uh, but I do uh, want to thank you for your support here. But again, I would love to have you over there on YouTube. So uh, this month is going to be an indie-focused show, especially with the uh, filth that's been going on in the AAA uh, gaming space. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Uh, like, or I'm not going to highlight it as a topic anymore because uh, I've already covered it. Um, so starting it off here is a very, very, very short synopsis of the topics that is going to be covered on the uh, upcoming episode. So. Uh, for our current event, we got Open Bore, Open BR, and uh, Open Beats of Rage. So this was a, a engine. This is an engine that's designed to make beat 'em ups. Uh, it's used a lot in the homebrew. Uh, excuse me, it's used a lot in the homebrew scene, and uh, you know, fan games for the most part. People uh, in their basement, like me or whoever else, just making games, just cranking them out. This is an engine, free, uh, open source engine that uh, allows. Uh, you know some really 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 cool games to be put together we've gotten some really really uh nice games from this engine so i'm a sucker for beat em ups and the engine is specific for beat em ups if you ever heard of mugen mugen is a uh 2d fighting game engine and this is the you know i guess you would say sister to it uh brother or sister to it the uh it's for beat em ups it's a 2d engine for beat em ups and um again I'm big sucker for uh beat em ups and uh so this is going to be a topic that's going to be really, really rewarding for me to cover because there's a lot of good fan game and homebrew stuff out there. Uh, so this must main event, as you can see, will be Ultimate Double Dragon. Uh, and this is one of the stalwarts in the open brew community. It's one of the games that I personally believe developers should look at in terms of pushing the genre forward because it does do a lot. It does so many different things that I have not seen in the beat em up genre because the beat em up genre has always been reduced to just mashing buttons and, um, you know, short and cheap. And uh, 
and I believe beat them up should be evolving. They should be getting bigger, better. Things should be improving. And uh, so I want to give a big shout out to Mr. Dean. Uh, his uh, Twitter is at Dean the Abari. And uh, I'll, I'll link that inside the description. But he's making a game called Deadly Metropolis. It's not an open board title, not an open board pro uh, uh, project, but uh, it's just a good example of a, a guy who's attempting to push the genre forward, the beat em up genre forward. And because he had mentioned something on uh, uh, Twitter about it. And, and that's what I believe there needs to be things happening that's pushing that genre forward. And we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to cover that. And I'm interested to see what Mr. Den's game's looking out uh, was going to look like, uh, again, a deadly metropolis. Uh, check that guy out. And, um, and but we're going to dive in again to this game here because it's excellent. And it does a lot that is really, really well done. And I think a lot of the, you know, professional developers can learn a lot from it. So, again, I want to thank you guys uh, for, you know, tuning in. Um, again, apologies to my uh, followers on Twitch. Uh, again, if you can follow me over on uh, YouTube, uh, that'd be great. Again, it's youtube.com forward slash at K of the Galaxy Bender. Again, if not, totally understand. And I do appreciate your support, but I do look forward to hanging out with all you this Saturday. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, join us in the chat. Um, I, as, I, as I mentioned in YouTube, I get uh, more you know, I get, I get more traffic. I get more, um, I, I get more, um, you know, I get more people interacting. I get that there's more going on. So we will love to hear from you guys in the chat, especially Goku. Like he loves uh, hearing from you guys. He likes talking to you guys and he loves talking to you about what he likes to do. But again, uh, with that being said, take care of yourself. Kev the Galaxy Bender is signing off.